Benji here from Touchfield Farm. Right, so person's ox all the while. Nubian or mm. So for me, it's all about preference. As you can see, I have two here. I have a Nubian and I have a boar. Why I choose these two? Because most most persons want to know which breed do I prefer. Mm. For me, it comes down to what is it you're breeding for? What is it you're looking? Um, boar is known for meat. Nubian is known for milk and meat. Nubian breed was developed in England mm. with a cross between an African mm. and a native English goat. So it's a developed, both of them are developed breed. The boar mm. is from South Africa and it was developed specifically mm. for meat. Not saying mm. boar doesn't have meat. Uh, as I said, why I choose these two? Because both of these are AI, artificial mm. insemination. Um, as you can see, this one is very straight back. So it's a nice thing to add to my reading program. Mm. I have Nubians because Nubians will give you a lot of milk. And my operation, mm. I want to have like a 80 20. 80% 80 meat and 20% breeding mm. stock. And for breeding stock, you're going to need milk. Cut down mm. She's a bit shy. The first time she's in a lead. Someone she's a free range. So mm. I have these two here. Very good body condition. This one is a bit younger. So with time you'll get your nice coloring, mm. good length. As I have this one here, I'm just gonna trim her up. Mm. Very friendly, very friendly goat here. So let me just trim her up like all over, like all over here. Mm. <laughs> but as I said, as it relates to which one of the breed, it all comes down to what mm. you, what you're breeding for. Um, what is the purpose mm. of your farm? Mine is mainly meat with 20% breeding. Mm. Most persons like the boar because of course they are fat and flush and mm. sexy on the eyes. Mm. Come on. It's starting mm. to curl already, so I have to make sure I mm. pay keen attention to this one. I mm. don't want to trim off too much all at once. I had the opportunity to talk to some persons mm. in the industry as it relates to which mm. do they really prefer, boar or the new gun. A lot of persons like the boar because of their maternal mm. instinct slash behavior mm. persons told me that boars make mm. good mothers but I really I don't have a preference as yet mm. this goat is something else stand up a bit of a chubby metal. Mm. She chews on anything you put in front of her, she chews on. Mm. A bit of a chua. 
My follow up video, I'm going to talk to some persons who are both boar and new on their farm get a perspective as to which do they prefer and why. Mm. I know persons they have straight up boar, straight up Nubian. This here is an AI, so it's new genetics to the island, new genetics to the farm. Mm. She was already bred, hopefully. I got some nice rolling from her. Let's check her eyes for skin. So, skin food, food worms, healthy looking animal. Let me just check the new band. Go around here, your time is up. So, this is a new band for you. First is with light ears. Normally, has very long ears. Check uh, the worm. Very good as well. So, I check the light. Perfect bite. So, the teeth. And that padding right here should be matching, shouldn't be over or under. That way they can survive without having to be fed in a pen. They can really pick up the grass, rip it, because that's what they do. I like this girl, I like her coloring. Here the south. She has nice teeth. Nice nipples. She should make a wonderful mother. Um, planning to introduce her to a book about December, mm. about November, December. Hopefully, by then she'll be um, a lot more full in body and um, get some nice babies from her. Very good pasta on the boar. Let me just check your hoof like out in here. Normally when you have goat in a setting like this, you want to like do a general maintenance, check their hooves, check for worm, check if there's anything bugging them. Instead of having to go back and do it again. So I'll just update my record to the check them for worm. Do a little bit of hoof trimming and um, as you can see the coat very shiny that's normally a sign of a, of a healthy goat shiny coat so we have the free choice mineral and them right now so it's showing in the coat normally when a goat coat is rough and um, shaggy yeah. tends to indicate that the goat is lacking in some form of mineral or some nutrient so you wanna watch out for that yeah. should be shiny almost like you pour baby oil on it that kind of glossy look You don't want to take off too much at a time because this goat mm. is a young dolin. Mm. This is probably her first time um, getting groomed, so you just want to gradually get it down. Mm. Let she get used to her being handled and um, mm. yeah, get used to you overall. You want to know your goat, let your goat know you. And um, over time, they'll become more receptive, mm. receptive to um, being, being groomed.
like I said, the new blend was bred for milk and meat. Mm. But um, generally it's a milk breed. Mm. I do a bit of cross. So I cross the new blend, my new blend book with some local some mm. So I still have the milk line going. Mm. And it also helps with the size. So when I do that cross afterwards, I'm going to do a video on crosses, two weight, three weight, so to cross animals. So look out for that video. Today is just about comparing the breed, Nubian versus boar. So boar goat first, Nubian. That is what today is really about. I'm gonna do a next video about mm. how we cross them. How we select breeding, how we select the buck for breeding. Because generally I keep my buck separate from the yule so that I know who bred who and um, the goes a better record keeping mm. and a lot more. It sounds to reduce mm. stress on the farm. So you don't have fighting, you don't have the box stressing out the females before they are ready. And you get to um, mm. synchronize, natural synchronizing. Mm. You get them synchronized. So I'm going to check the vulva also to see whether this goes on. So it um, give you good kids. But I should have problems kidding. Seems to be okay, but um, nice pigment, pigment good, so this could, this could be a show though, or uh, all the, the boxes are thick, good conformation, um, good teeth, good pigment, good teeth. So this train I'm up on. So let's see that bit of a troublemaker. So nice straight back with a curve at the rum. A very nice bowling. So, a big plan for her here on the farm. And hopefully she'll be here for a long time. Give me some wonderful. Come on, seriously. Some nice new band, good colors. So, guys, go ahead, subscribe, like the video, share, comment, leave a comment, leave a comment. Um, it is important when persons share their experience, also. So, I don't know everything, I learn as I go along. So I welcome all comments. Wow! So that is it for me here. Nubian versus Boar. Wow!